Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Google Chrome UI refresh for 2023 is something I've been posting on throughout the course of this year, where Google is rolling out new layout changes, material new visual redesign changes, a new main menu. So the browser is basically taking on a bit of a more fluent, rounded corners look and feel when it comes to material new changes, as I have been posting. Now, I have seen a couple of comments uh, in um, on the channel that the UI refresh is now starting to become more widely available. And it has been on a kind of slow, controlled, phased rollout. And obviously, uh, with the end of the year approaching, um, it means now that um, Google is obviously pushing this UI refresh out now, basically um, to all users. And... I have seen some comments that um, users are not enjoying this new user interface, especially the tab search being moved to the left, where previously it was here to the top right. Now, I have noticed that with the most recent security update that rolled out, which I posted on yesterday, um, that rolled out for Google Chrome, 120.06099.110, that um, it seems that with this security update, the UI refresh is becoming more widely available. So I've seen some comments where suddenly users are faced with this new user interface and are, not, are, and are not really enjoying and liking it. I personally don't have a problem with it, but I've seen some um, negative comments. So that's the reason why you are starting to see the UI refresh changes starting to roll out. Um, I think the end of the year is approaching and Google is pushing that out now with point release updates. Now, just on a side note, if you are not enjoying the new user interface, so you don't like the new material, new changes, uh, the menus, the main menu as an example, then as I've posted previously, you can disable this Google Chrome UI refresh for 2023 by heading over to the experimental flags and disabling the flags that are related to the UI refresh. Now, I have posted a whole video on how to do that, and I'll leave that video down below if you'd like to go check that out to disable it. But just a quick recap uh, for the purpose of today's video. And I also want to show you how you can move the search tabs back to its original location yet to the right hand side, because I have seen quite a lot of comments that users are really not enjoying this. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So to get to experimental flags page, we head up to the address bar and we enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, hit enter and this will take you over to the experimental flags page. Now, as mentioned, I have posted a whole video on this, but just to do a quick recap, uh, all you need to do is you need to type in refresh. That's all you need to do. And every flag that comes up with refresh. So now we have got one, two, three, four, five, six. Previously, I think we had five. So one has been added. Disable all of these flags. So you change it from default to disabled. You can see now these are all default features. So all you do is you head to all these flags and you change them to uh, uh, disabled. And then you'll have to restart your device to apply those settings. And that will remove the Chrome UI refresh. Now, obviously, there are six different flags. So you can fiddle around. If you don't want to disable them all, you can just check out what they do. And you can then um, kind of disable one or two to suit your personal choice and preference if you don't want to disable the whole Chrome refresh. But something I want to show you is that to move this tab search from the left back to the right, this is what you need to disable. Chrome refresh 2023 new tab button. So you change that to disabled. And then you relaunch the browser to apply that flag. And now you can see that if we head back, I still have some of the UI refresh, but the new tab button or the, the tab search button has been moved to its original location. And obviously, if you want to put it back, you just head back to uh, the experimental flags page by typing in Chrome uh, colon forward slash forward slash flags, hit enter, and you can just pop that back to default. You can relaunch and there we go. That will put everything back to the default. So as mentioned, all you do, Type in refresh and disable all of those flags if you want to remove the look completely and that will put things back to how it used to be. So I just wanted to clear that up because um, I have seen a bit of confusion in the comments on the channel. So I, ho I hope that just 
uh, puts things a little bit more into context. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.